Off a day, I'm Nestor Lecanto with the Pacific Daily News, and here are today's top stories from the PDN Newsroom. A developing tropical disturbance, Invest 95W, is likely to pass through the Marianas somewhere from just south of Guam to as far north as Saipan as a tropical depression sometime between late Tuesday night and Wednesday afternoon, according to the National Weather Service as of 7 p.m. Sunday. As of Sunday afternoon, Invest 95W was centered just north of Wino in Chu. It could develop into a tropical depression by midday Monday or Monday afternoon, according to Landon Idlet Warning Coordination Meteorologist for NWS Guam Weather Forecast Office during a 6 p.m. Sunday briefing. Up to 4 to 8 inches of rainfall is possible across Guam and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands from Tuesday through Friday. As of Sunday night, NWS said if intensification is faster than forecast, 95W could pass through the region as a tropical storm. As of 6 p.m. Sunday, Invest 95W was located about 550 miles east-southeast of Guam, tracking slowly through the northwest, Islet said. Islet added that the Guam, Rota, Tinian, and Saipan are right in the crosshairs of the possible track. In other news, MV Seaborne Pursuit arrived this weekend and marked the ninth cruise ship visit to Guam so far this year, setting a new record for the most passenger vessels to sail into the island in one year. This is according to the Port Authority of Guam, which pointed to Guam's growing appeal as a must-see cruise destination for travelers seeking unique experiences in the Pacific. MV Seaborne Pursuit arrived at the Port Authority of Guam at 6.56 p.m. on Saturday with 183 passengers and 233 crew members. This brings the total number of visiting cruise ship passengers and crew members so far this year to more than 17,000, the port said. With funding that's half of what it asked for in fiscal year 2025, the Guam Memorial Hospital Authority is anticipating hiring freezes, reduced nursing staff, and longer wait times in the emergency room, according to hospital officials. The budget passed by senators late last month will give GMH a subsidy of $37.7 million, but that's only about half of the $74.3 million that the hospital said it needs to keep up with the cost of keeping doors open in fiscal 25. GMH does not make enough money in any given year to keep up with costs and needs tax revenue from GovGuam to help cover the gap. Already short in fiscal 2024, GMH leadership has projected a $40 million increase in expenses for fiscal 25. Hospital Administrator Lillian Perez Posada said the hospital's Executive Management Council met last week to figure out how to increase funds and reduce costs in light of the shortfall in funding from lawmakers. In other news, a multi-agency team that the governor formed four weeks ago to help 18 public schools pass health sanitation inspections in order to open for the new academic year is now working on four remaining campuses. A fifth campus, Chief Brody Memorial Elementary School in Tamuni, will no longer be addressed following guidance from the Guam Department of Education's Facilities and Maintenance Unit, according to Adloop on Sunday. While the Tamuni campus is pending a public health inspection, students have resumed in-person learning at Juan M. Guerrero Elementary School. Both elementary school populations are operating five days a week without disruption, Adloop said. As of Sunday, the governor's school opening readiness team, or SORT, continues to address the four remaining campuses, Southern High School, JQ San Miguel Elementary School, Inarahan Middle School, and Price Elementary School. For more on these stories, go to guampdn.com and follow us on social media.